guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off with primer by using the MAC Strobe Cream all over to help create a satin glowy base. And then I went over that with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in number 370. And then blended out the streaks with a damp beauty blender. And the foundation colour looks a little light for now, but as you might know, the Fenty Beauty Foundations tend to oxidise. Then taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm highlighting the centre of my face. So under the eyes, the bridge of my nose, forehead and chin. You may want to lay this with a lighter concealer if you want to achieve a more highlighted and bright under eyes. And then I'm lightly setting those areas using a tapping motion with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Today's look is inspired by this year's Victoria's Secret runway show. So smoky eyes, bronzed skin, rosy cheeks and a glossy nude lip. As we want to create more of a bronzed look as opposed to a heavily contoured one, I'm applying my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso to the very perimeters of my face and making sure to blend it out so the contouring has no visible lines. Next, I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer to blend out and set the cream contour using circular motions. For my cheekbone area, I'm dragging it down toward the apples of my cheeks and I'll come back to blush and shimmer once we're done with the eyes. This year, they went a little smokier on the eyes than usual, so using my Tartlet in Bloom palette, I'm taking the shade Rebel and applying it through my crease and onto my outer lid. Then taking this bronze rose gold shimmer shade called Firecracker, I'm applying it all over my eyelid and blending it into that rebel shade on the outer corner. Now the angels had a smoky winged liner which was created using eyeshadows rather than a gel or liquid pen. So taking the shade Activist on an angled liner brush, I'm shading just above my upper lash line and carefully winging it out, being as careful as possible with dark fallout on my concealed under eye. And of course I had fallout which is why I'm reapplying my concealer. And it's okay if you have to reapply concealer because the angels also have those bright under eyes anyway. Going back to that shade Rebel, I'm smoking out my lower lash line and then grabbing the shade Activist again to connect the lower lash line to my winged liner which will bring the whole eye look together nicely. Taking the shade Funny Girl, which is a silver shimmer eyeshadow, I'm applying it to my inner corners with a bullet brush. Feel free to go heavy on this step, as these exaggerated inner corners are key to creating that glowy, angelic look. After curling my lashes, I coated them with Maybelline's Lash Sensational. The angels don't wear lashes, so you could stop here, but I went that one step further and applied these natural looking ones by Dodo Lashes, so they look like a slightly fuller and longer version of my natural ones. I lightly contoured my nose with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shade in Havana, and then generously highlighted the high points of my face using MAC Global Glow and Gold Deposit Highlighters. For those rosy cheeks, I used MAC's Blur Power Blush on the apples and blended it out into the contour. And then I applied the Tarte Funny Girl Eyeshadow on my brow bone to give my eyebrows a little lift. I didn't line my lips, but instead used NYX's Butter Gloss in apple strudel all over as it still looks like my natural lips with a hint of pink gloss on top and then to finish off the eyes I applied mascara to my bottom lash line and we're done I hope you enjoyed my take on a Victoria's Secret makeup look let me know what you thought of it in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye